In this video, we'll balance the equation for PbNO3 2 plus KOH. That's lead 2 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have 1 Pb, and then this NO3, it's a polyatomic ion, it's called the nitrate ion. We have NO3 here, and it stays together in the chemical reaction. Here it is again, NO3. So we're going to call NO3, the nitrate ion, one item. So we have one nitrate times two, that gives us two nitrates one potassium, and then OH, that's the hydroxide ion. We have it here, and we have it here. Since it appears on both sides, we'll count it as just one thing. We have one hydroxide there, product side, one Pb, one NO3, one potassium, and the OH, the hydroxide, we have two times the one, two of those. It looks like we could fix the nitrates here if we put a two in front of the KNO3, one nitrate times two, that gives us two, so the nitrates are balanced, and then one potassium times two, that gives us two of those. Let's fix the potassiums. We put a coefficient of two in front of the potassium hydroxide, one times two, that'll give us two of the potassiums, so those are balanced. Two applies to everything. The one hydroxide times the two gives us two of those, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting our polyatomic ions as one item, if they appear on both sides, saves us a lot of time. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for lead 2 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.